The Coca-Cola Football Fever podcast available at ESPNStar.com, Goal.com, StadiumAstro.com, The New Paper and iTunes. International football discussion with an Asia-Pacific perspective. Yeah, apparently there were some write-ups in today's newspapers in Malaysia that uh, that you couldn't see on television. Uh, ugly scenes. The, the journalists and media were sitting there uncovered because there's a second tier up there. And people started to throw objects towards the, the media and other fans down there. Uh, they talked about urine in the bottles, uh, empty cans for hairspray and all sorts of things. So the media had to take cover. Actually, they were not even at the prize ceremony out of danger for things that should be stolen. It was a bit uncontrolled, apparently. Well, this is something that obviously is of interest to you because uh, you were sanctioned, uh, the Sarawak team was sanctioned for the uh, performance or the or the behaviour of the fans there in uh, Kuching. So it does seem that sometimes there are elements that you have to really take care of. Well, all over the world, eh, you see what happened in Greece lately when, uh, when, when the stadium was completely rioted, uh, which is not the case yet in Malaysia. Uh, at, uh, but what, 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 what I thought was very unfair and disturbing in the, in the Malaysian Cup final was that the Klantan fans did not respect the same Derby fans. Uh, Sam Derby doesn't have a big fan base, so the few people, about 2,000, that yeah, they're turned real, up... real minnows, aren't they? I think it was minnows. the first ever club side that made a ma- major exactly, Malaysia yeah. Cup final. Wasn't and they it? did very well. They got, they got a good squad together. They got a good coaching setup. They got a good management. They have some plans and visions. But there's 2,000 people in the 100,000 stadium, and they put up the flags on Sam Derby. They have their little section, and suddenly the Klantan supporters ripped off their flags took over their section and nobody stopped it. I mean, if I'm a Sam Derby fan, that could have been ugly scenes in there. But they were t- overpowered by the Clanton fans. So I thought that was not a nice thing to see in a Malaysian Cup final. Oh, just dreadful. I can only endorse that. I mean, having grown up in a culture where in, uh, football hooliganism was rife, I mean, you know, I've been chased down many a street by a Millwall supporter uh, at risk of getting my head ripped off uh, growing up in the UK. So I find it extraordinary. I'm not going to say I'm entirely surprised because I'm not. But I mean, what kind of Neanderthal moron goes home and prepares a bottle of urine? <laughs> I mean, this, I mean, uh, he just Well, the hairspray is quite useful, isn't it? Well, the hairspray, yeah. I think you need some, You actually. can have a bit of a touch up in the press. <laughs> box but I mean oh I'm going to pee in this bottle I'm really going to give it to someone morons these people just morons they're not worth talking about